One of the primary design challenges for me with this play is, am I designing one play or am I designing three plays? Uh, because it's a bit of both. And Sarah Rule says in the introduction, the author's note in the script, that she wants this done as one evening. But also you can do it as three plays and rep as you want. So I'm kind of trying to approach it both ways. Um, it's really um, And so I'm looking for moments where I can really heighten the uh, theatricality, but still using uh, conventions that have been around for a while. Um, I think that, if anything, this play proves that theater is one of uh, humans, uh, humankind's oldest conventions. It, it's a storytelling convention that we have had since the very start. And I think that lighting design for part one can kind of reflect that. Trevor and I talked a lot about uh, the idea of deconstruction in this play, and also Fred's got some fantastic ideas for, is he gone? Yes, he's gone. Um, for how to deconstruct the set itself as we go through the play. And I really, I was curious how lighting can play that game. Uh, and so I started thinking about the use of shadows, the opportunity and to use some chiaroscuro, the really the contrast of light and dark, which also reflects back to the Italian Renaissance paintings, as there's uh, decidedly Renaissance bent with part one, so it's all coming for full circle, and I'm really proud of myself. There's a way to be theatrical <laughs> in part one. And so whereas part one is just about the, the scale of the design, part three is more about these small, specific choices, these little moments of color that I think can be, um, can be really beautiful, and at the same time, I think they can be uh, quite frightening, or just really otherworldly, uh, or perhaps a combination of all of those. So that is my very conceptual speech that you can't hold me to. Uh, <laughs>